Hi everybody, I'm Sue Allen Clayton. Welcome to my channel where we'll be learning the tarot deck one card at a time. Today's video is about the Seven of Wands. This video will begin with a short description of the card. Next I'll briefly explain what the Seven of Wands means when it appears in a reading. Then we'll talk about what each element symbolizes and what the card means when it shows up in both the upright and reversed positions in a reading. I'll share some examples from my life so you can relate the card to a real-world situation. And stay tuned until the end and I'll give you several questions to help you connect with the card. I will be using the Rider Waite Tarot in this video. You'll find the link to the deck below, as well as to the many books that I've used in my research. So let's get started. In the Seven of Wands, we see a young man holding a wand in front of him, trying to defend himself from six wands coming toward him. He is wearing a yellow shirt with a green tunic over it and orange tights. He is wearing two different kinds of footwear. The sky is clear and blue. He is standing on green grass that appears to be on the top of a rock formation. When the Seven of Wands shows up in a reading, it means that you are experiencing some kind of struggle in your life. The Seven of Wands tells us that we must always be vigilant, stand up for what we believe in, and be ready to defend ourselves. This card is about facing conflict with bravery and courage. The Seven of Wands reminds us that, even if you are in a position of power, there will always be people who are trying to take you down. Let's go back to what we saw in the card and discuss what each element symbolizes. The young man is standing on green grass that appears to be on the top of a rock formation. Green is about nature and also adventure. Rocks are about dependability, so we know that this man is a very solid individual. Mountains also indicate obstacles, so we know that he is facing some struggles, which is obvious when we see him trying to fight off six wands. Regardless, he is higher than the others, which puts him in a position of superiority. However, he's wearing two different shoes, more about that in a minute, and the uneven grass might indicate that his footing is not as strong as it could be. He is holding a wand in front of him and trying to defend himself from six wands coming towards him. This demonstrates that he is willing to fight for his beliefs and defend his position. He is wearing a yellow shirt with a green tunic over it. Yellow is the color of positivity, and because it is close to his body, it shows that he is confident in his ability. Green is the color of growth and shows that he is sincere about defending his position. The orange tights represent the element of fire. It shows that he is taking a lot of action to defend his position. He is wearing two different kinds of footwear. There are several interpretations of what this might mean. It might just mean that he was surprised by the attack so he didn't have time to get dressed properly. It can also mean that his desires and actions are not aligned. I found an interesting interpretation at karinastarot.com and have linked to the blog post below. She says that the odd pair of shoes may be a reference to the Masonic shoe, also known as the blue slipper. In ancient times, removing one shoe and giving it to another person was considered a way to seal an agreement. The Masons adopted this Hebrew custom and would give a small pin in the shape of a blue slipper to symbolize an oath that what had been said will be done. So it may be that our hero is trying to keep his end of a bargain or he is battling others to ensure that they are doing the right thing. If you look at the opposing wands sideways, they look like a ladder or stairway. This can represent that the young man is starting on a new path or taking his situation to a new level. All of the wands have a lot of buds. This shows that it is a card of action. The sky is clear and blue, the same color as water. This can represent the subconscious or needing to dig deep into your soul. When the Seven of Wands appears upright in a reading, it can mean that you are a person who shows bravery and courage, that you are defending yourself and persevering when times get tough, that you feel attacked, that you win despite the odds against you, that you are taking a stand or standing up for what you believe, 
that you are feeling defensive, that you must stay vigilant, and finally, you need to stand up for people who can't stand up for themselves. For example, you might want to become an advocate for the homeless. Here's an example of the upright reading from my life about getting attacked. I have a friend who has a YouTube channel where he gives his reactions to a popular TV show. This particular show is not aired in other countries, so people come to his channel to watch the show. Unfortunately, networks don't look kindly on YouTubers who rebroadcast a show on their channel for free. So people come to his channel expecting to view the entire show and get absolutely irate because they can't see the entire show and they have to watch him and his commentary instead. We're Facebook friends and for a long time he was posting these nasty comments. Seriously, being called a moron was on the kind end. I don't think I could have dealt with the personal attacks, but he took it all in stride. He always responded to the comments by thanking people for watching. His channel has continued to grow because he persevered and didn't let the haters destroy his confidence. When the Seven of Wands appears reversed in a reading, it can mean that you are overwhelmed or exhausted by your struggles. Fighting your opponents has filled you with self-doubt and you're ready to give up. It can mean you're fighting a losing battle, or the battle is not worth fighting. It can mean you have become too cautious. Rather than fighting for what you want, you are sinking into anxiety, indecision, or embarrassment. Note that you cannot see who is holding the wands. In a reverse position, it could mean that you are convinced that everyone is against you, but there is no evidence of it, so you might be a bit paranoid. And finally, it might mean that you have become a target and people want to defeat you. So here's an example of the reversed reading from my life. I couldn't come up with a personal example, so I'll use an example from current events of two women who became targets. Back in 2021, Rudy Giuliani made false claims against two election workers in Georgia, a mother-daughter team named Ruby Freeman and Shea Moss. Julie Annie falsely accused Moss of handing her mother a thumb drive like they were vials of heroin or cocaine during their work at the Fulton County Board of Elections in Georgia. What he claimed to be a thumb drive was actually a ginger mint. These women were absolutely terrorized with threatening phone calls and racist messages, including threats of lynching. Moss testified that she was forced out of her job and was afraid to go out alone. Watching interviews of what these women went through was really heartbreaking, and they are a very sad example of people who were targeted for something that they did not do. Here are some questions to help you connect with the Seven of Wands. Number one, how do you handle confrontation? Do you stand up for what you believe or prefer to retreat? Number two, what threats are you currently facing? Number three, have you ever been a target or outnumbered in a situation? How did you handle it? Number four, in what current situations of your life should you be defending yourself? Number five, think of a recent threat in your life. Was it a real threat or something that you were creating in your mind? And number six, are you advocating for people who can't stick up for themselves? I'd love to have you post your answers or insights in the comments below. And please join me for a discussion of the next card, the Eight of Wands.